Once teachers really get into sharing files with Google Drive, they typically talk to us about how it's difficult to organize or sort for these files within the shared with me in their Google Drive. Unfortunately, there's no way to really organize this space. You can't make folders and sort files the way you might want, but there is a workaround. What you can do when you click on one of these files, you'll notice up in the top right, there's a little icon that comes up and says, add to my drive. What that's going to let you do is basically create a shortcut in my drive. So this Google Summit options, for example. If I look in my drive, when I go down to my files and I look where it would be, let's see, gee, oh, I passed it. It's not in here right now. But if I go back, when I click on this and click add to my drive, it's going to make a shortcut there. So now when I look back, there it is. The file here and the file and shared with me are exactly the same things. But what this allows me to do is now I can take this file and organize it into a folder. Maybe I'll put it in a, a, a workshop folder that I have. It allows me to organize it and find it easily and it still keeps that connection. There's another way you can do this too. You can drag and drop. So if I take this computer assessments, I can drag it over to my drive and I can drop it into the folder that I want. So it's just two ways of organizing that space. So now, I, if I do that, if I put this folder in my classroom, if I add that file rather to my classroom folder, I'm not gonna have to go to shared with me and find it. When I log into my drive, I can just go to classroom and there it is. So that's kind of how you can organize the shared with me space. You want to add it to your drive. So if you have any questions with this, as always, please feel free to reach out to either Taylor or myself.